Hey, what's going on guys, Phil here, and I am back with a special little bit of news. And joining me with that news is Darren Katz, the community manager at Piranha Games, and Thaddeus Johnsey uh, as well. And we're gonna be talking about some modding tools and some information that just came out earlier today. Anyways, first off, how are you guys doing? Great. Very good, man. Excited right. about this news. Uh, Thad, uh, you go by Thad, uh, yep. obviously Thaddeus. Uh, what is your position and role at uh, Piranha Games? Uh, so I'm the, uh, I guess, principal level designer. I've been okay. there for uh, a great many years uh, since the days of MechWarrior Online and before. Okay. And of course, we know what your role is, Darren. Uh, why aren't you on camera right now? It feels a little weird. You're just pointing just, at me in a photo. I'm just it's, eye candy. You know, that's that pretty much is? my title is eye candy. Gotcha. Yeah. Understood. It would be too distracting. It would, <laughs> you know, and we got stuff to talk about. All right. So um, this obviously is a little bit close to home because modding is right up our alley for uh, Mech Commander Mercenaries. Uh, for those that don't know, you could go check out that if you didn't know. Self plug there. Um, but one of the things we've talked about, I had Alex Garden on a podcast a while ago. And one of the things uh, I was uh, in conversation with him was about the documentation process for modders to be able to, I would say, quickly learn a system that you guys have created. And obviously, we had a, uh, we didn't have a whole lot there yet. And one of the things he said was uh, he was actually surprised no one has done any missions or quests or campaigns because it was all available in the Unreal uh, Editor. Um, it looks like you guys have changed that. As of today, you guys just released uh, mission creation resources. Can we go ahead and just sort of talk about that, uh, what it is, and then um, you know what you've done and what are you what are you providing? Here? Um, so this is just documentation, um, but it's all you need. So the the editor that you can get the from Epic Games or I guess wherever else you get the game from, uh, the editor you can download has everything you need to make missions. The only thing is that. Because of the nature of the game, the process for making missions is extremely uh, arcane and extremely complicated. So there's really no way to do it uh, unless you know what you're doing. And so uh, what we've provided is uh, three different documents uh, and a, about a two-hour video uh, explaining the process for making missions. Wow. Uh, so I'm just looking at the PDFs for a quick just really quick here we've got like mission flow nodes scripting references and of course if you if you never hopped in unreal like again this could be really daunting if you're trying to like tackle it and i think there's a few groups out there that are are trying to do or would like to do i know that uh we're looking uh internally at it and uh i know uh tori who i just had on the podcast uh with 206 we we were talking about that some of our goals for the missions and game modes and stuff so this is going to help out quite a bit um Obviously, it can be pretty daunting hopping on Unreal, and I feel like resources like this are fantastic. Um, you've got multitude of uh, videos here, and I'm assuming, are those pretty much the video version of the files and, and uh, documentation you released? Yeah, so the, uh, the most there's three documents. The most important one is called the Mission Creation Guide, and that is going to be a step-by-step uh, walk through the process of making a mission uh, in a custom level from start to finish. Uh, the other two documents are uh, more for reference. One is called Mission Scripting Reference, and that's an in-detail, in-depth reference for all the different types of mission components that, uh, that you can use in a mission. And I don't go into all of those uh, on the video because it's about, uh, altogether, it's about a two-hour video. And to cover all of that stuff would probably be more like a 10 or 20 hour video. Oh, wow. Um, but you've got the, the reference there. That's written by the guy who created most of those components in the first place. So it's in great detail. And then there's another one, uh, which is the uh, Mission Campaign Integration Guide. And that document is all about uh, integrating your, your missions into the star map and into the game's campaign. Uh, so that's also uh, an in-depth guide written by the guy who designed that system. And that stuff is uh, is outside the scope of what I cover in the video. The video is strictly for just making a mission from start to finish. And uh, in that video, I only show you how to include the mission in instant action. Okay. And is there also like a save file to work with here? Is that? Yeah, there's also during the video, uh, when I create a mission, um, I make a whole number of files. 
uh, you know, while I'm going through setting up the mod and everything. And all of those files are available to download there. So you can, uh, I would recommend you follow along by making your own files as I make them and, uh, you know, do the things I do. But, uh, you know, if you need to refer to what I've done, you can download those exact files and check them out yourself. Awesome. And so, like, when we talk about, like, a custom mission, an example would be, like, a, like a campaign mission or, like, a quest. Is that, is that correct? Something like yeah, that. there's actually, in the game, uh, there's several different kinds of, of missions. There's the procedural missions, right, which form the bulk of the missions that you might play. Uh, and then there's, um, there's like, the, the quest missions or whatever. Some of those are just procedural missions with uh, preset generation parameters. Like, it'll always be a raid mission on such and such difficulty on such and such type of planet. Uh, then there's other ones that are procedural missions that uh, you know we generated over and over until we got one we liked, and then actually baked that mission out uh, so that we could go into it and fiddle with specific things like adding in custom dialogue uh, or you know other story points. Yep. Um, and then there's the story missions from the original game, which are uh, they're chiefly comprised of. Uh, taking tiles from the procedural tile system and assembling them together like a jigsaw puzzle in a custom way to make a custom level. But then all of the uh, gameplay elements in them are are custom, and the uh, you know their story and dialogue in those. And what I actually go over in uh, in these documents is the process we used for the uh, the DLC story missions, which are different than those ones. They're actually going to be uh, the tile system for these is done away with, and it's just uh, custom, like one-off big custom levels, which is okay. probably, I would expect, what most modders would want to make and be most familiar with making anyways. So uh, that's, I think, the most effective way to make uh, custom content for this, and that's uh, what we go over in the videos and the documents. That's awesome. I mean, obviously, looking at this uh, step by step, you can follow along. Uh, this is fantastic levels. We haven't seen anybody do it, like I said before. And when I talked to Alex, it was one of the things that you know he wished people were doing. It's like, well, now we have the resources to do it. Uh, speaking of levels, is there any advice you can give out there? Because the first thing that pops in my head is like, is there performance things to think about? Is there like, is there any, is there pros or cons, or is there any like advice you could give to anybody out there that look is looking at doing these? Sure. There's um. I mean, performance is, is going to be, you know, pretty much common sense, I think, that, uh, you know, in terms of, of having too much stuff. I don't have any specific budgets for you because you could, you know, you could uh, go hog wild in one area but not another or, or whatever. You know, I just think that uh, in terms of that, just experiment with, uh, with it until you get what you like. Uh, you know, we've got missions that have quite a lot of uh, mechs in it all at once. I think it should be fine. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. I was just going to also say... Um, uh one of the one of the reasons are uh, this is a little bit off off the question but one of the reasons that the um the process for this is so is so it almost seems like it's needlessly complex um is basically because the system was designed to accommodate the procedural missions rather than uh somebody authoring missions and so uh you know when we decided to have authored missions um we kind of had to take the place of the computer stepping through the procedural system to put together a mission. And and so that's the main reason why uh, this process is going to seem a lot more convoluted than it probably has to and a lot more convoluted than what people will be used to working with. Um, so that's, I mean, basically, it's that's just an apology, you know, sorry. But, uh, <laughs> well, it's, the first thing pops know. in my head is like, I'm sure uh, modders will probably create like templates, right? I mean, it looks like it's a pretty simple thing that yeah. to speed up the process of things, right? Like that, that pops in my head instantly is bringing a template that way you don't have to do steps A through B and it's already done or whatever. Um, For sure. And here's some more advice, by the way, is that, so uh, in the video there, I'll step, I'll step through making an area specification or area spec. And that is the heart of missions, right? Like that's where, where basically all of the stuff for a mission is inside the area spec. And uh, one thing that, that will be a great resource. Um, you know, once you've exhausted the stuff we're releasing today, this documentation, um, there'll still be, you can go into the editor and open up all the area specs for all of the existing story missions, 
um, and you know that's going to be a wealth of of stuff. Like the what I put in the video is a very very basic, very simple area spec that we can all easily understand. But if you open up the story missions, you know you'll be able to see really really uh, complex, complicated ones. So you know one thing you can do is play the game, and if if you come across a mission where uh, you know you want to figure out oh how do we do the thing that happened in such and such a mission, you can just open up the area spec for it in the editor and uh, you know, see exactly how it was implemented. Gotcha. So like enemies bringing in reinforcements or something like that, you could open that up and take a look at it. So exactly. Cool. Um, obviously asked about performance, uh, maybe just from a, being a level designer, uh, is there any visual things that, you know, I mean, do you focus on, on what, like what you consider, um, good lighting or, or any of that stuff? Like, is it just, well, experiment and see what looks good? I mean, do you have any like foundations there that maybe you can pass on to someone out there? One more uh, bit of uh, advice I would give is that if you think about the, think about the process for putting together a mission in terms of um, uh, leveraging the procedural system, uh, you, you can probably uh, get a lot more bang for your buck. So, like you mentioned lighting so like there's there's no real um like if you adhere to the system i describe in the documentation you just you're putting in a generic lighting level and then where you set the lighting is inside the area spec and there's like you can set all manner of parameters time of day um, different types of star and orbital distances stuff like that so that'll take uh that'll take advantage of the pre-existing uh, like procedural mission setup in the game and it goes beyond lighting also if you set up your level right and i, I described this in the documentation if you set it up right you'll be able to easily switch uh like biomes and foliage types and all kinds of things um you know on the fly so uh, you know you can uh, test out all manner of different setups for your missions very very easily awesome um obviously this is i think a huge um bonus to modders so thank you thad for taking the time to do this and alex that conversation we had a while back i'm glad this this is came to fruition um i guess my question would be can we expect more stuff like this uh whether it's uh, other attributes uh adding max or vehicles or do you have anything down the pipeline that you're you're thinking about or are, are doing right now i'm not really sure um uh, you know for anything about like max or, or other kinds of departments uh, I'm not really sure. I, I'm also not really sure what what we're planning for for levels or missions. But I will say that um, above and beyond the, uh, the video and the uh, the main mission creation guide is that I would I would really advise people to dive into the mission scripting reference document because in that one there's going to be you know dozens and dozens and dozens of different mission components uh, described in there. And I mean, it's more stuff than we had time to cover in the videos, but it's, uh, you know, all the details are there and you just need to, uh, to dive in there. And if you, uh, if you use that document as a, uh, you know, as a, as an aid, you should be able to do basically anything, uh, you want to in terms of missions and levels. That's awesome. That's a lot of power. So. Um, if someone wants to learn more or interact with the community, there is a Discord. We'll have that link uh, down below in the description, but it is the MechWare 5. They've got multiple different channels. If your team out there, they also can give you tags. Um, I, I, I know Thad's on there. I know Dave and all the other developers, Alex is on there. So there are devs that are able to answer questions uh, when they have the free time. So definitely utilize that as well but um this is fantastic i mean i know from a personal like i said we're gonna be using it with our mod i know a lot of people have wanted to do custom missions and or campaigns as well so um, this opens the gates and now we don't have to hunt around in the dark right we we know exactly and like you said i just opened up the pdfs and it's a lot of information so if to reverse engineer that that would have i want to say it's not possible but it would have it would have been that that would have been tough so It'd be tough because there is there's also a lot of weird um, there's also a lot of weird stuff in there where things don't always uh, uh, things like the way to set things up isn't always uh, the way that that you might think is obvious or makes sense. So yeah, uh, it'll definitely be helpful. Uh, and of course, if you don't know anything about modding and you'd like to get into it, uh, you can download the Unreal editor using the Epic Game Store. 
Uh, and uh, of course, uh, there's Nexus as well. The Epic Game Store now does have its own mod manager as well. If you don't know how to access that, you just go to your library. Those th three little like ellipses dots uh, near MechWare 5, you click those and you can go to manage mods or uh, basically check out the mods that are available. It works a lot like Steam where you click the button, it subscribes, and then you activate it when you go in game. You may have to restart your client too, so just sort of a heads up. But um, there's a lot of mods out there. Um, there's more and more, and I figure with... You guys are about to open the gates, man. There's going to be some really cool stuff coming out of this, so that's exciting. Um, is there any last words, any, again, words of wisdom out there to anybody diving into this? Is it one of those things where it's like, take your time, you know, be uh patient? See, like the, this stuff is aimed at people that, that already know their way around Unreal Engine. Okay. So, if you're a beginner, um, you know, you, I'm gonna be, I'm not spending any time on on any stuff that isn't uh, Mech Warrior Five specific. So, uh, you know, it's definitely not like an Unreal beginner's guide. Gotcha. Understood. All right, Darren. I will. Uh, yeah, I'll add in there that you can head on over to the website mw5mercs.com and you can go. Uh, well, first you can go to the news section. You can see the post that we just recently made so you can see what this is about. And then you can click on resources. And for people that, like we just mentioned, that might be just getting started, we have the Unreal 4 uh, engine documentation there. We've got online learning, basically ways to get started uh, with, as well as other links to the, within the modding community and mods. And then everything that we've discussed will be up there as well. Well, gentlemen, thank you again for uh, reaching out to me about this. And I've course i'm excited i'll have links down below for those that want to get involved in this i hope you guys have a great week thank you again thad for doing this and darren i hope to speak to you soon sir for sure all right, thanks very much for having us yeah, all right guys you. and again all this information is going to be down below if you like this video make sure to click that like button also i guess i'll ask you guys out there what type of uh, documentation would you, would you like to see would you like to see max would you like to see vehicle documentation or is there something else uh, that you'd like to see leave a comment down below let me know discuss that and of course like i said hop onto our discord don't forget to as well i stream monday through friday over at twitch.tv forward slash ngng tv 12 to 6 where we have a blast so come join us guys i hope you enjoyed this i'll see you on the next video until next time